Hello students, good day. Today we are going to study all about addition of large numbers. Okay, let's start. Let me begin with a simple word problem. There are two friends who are collecting toy cars, Prince and Gabriel. Prince has six toy cars while Gabriel has eight toy cars. How many toy cars do they have in all? In this problem, we can get the total number of toy cars by counting all of them. In math, we have this operation that will help us to add all the items easily, and that is addition. Addition is putting up together two or more numbers to get the total, or what we called the sum. So add 6 and 8, and that would have a sum of 14. In math, we write it as 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. Wherein, we name the numbers that we add as addends. And the answer in addition is what we called the sum. As you can see, it is not that hard to add the given numbers since these are smaller numbers. But, as we all know, there are also larger numbers, and counting the numbers to find the sum would take us a long time. So, we need to use addition to find the total or the sum. Let us have this problem. A large poultry farm produced 345,197 eggs in one year. In the next year, it produced 452,867 more eggs. How many eggs were produced in all? In this problem, counting all the eggs would definitely take us a long time to finish. So we will use addition. Okay, let's combine the numbers using mathematical expression written as 345,132 plus 452,867 equals N. We use N or letter N in substitute for the unknown number. Since we do not know yet, what is the answer to that problem? Let us now proceed to the solution. Solution is on how we solve the numbers. So in this solution, this is one of the ways on how we find the sum. Here, we use expanded form. It is done by getting the value of each digit in the number and then adding them. And that would make a sum of 797,999. So the answer to this problem is 797,999 eggs in all. Let's have the other way of solving or adding numbers. I want you to remember the following. These are the steps that we have to follow. First, Write the numbers in column according to the place values. So we have to align the digit according to the place values. Next, add the ones digits first, followed by tens digit, then hundreds digits, then thousands digits. We will continue up to the digits in the highest place value. So we add from right to left. Then we have to regroup when it is needed or necessary. Let us try to solve the numbers that we added in our previous example. Let us see if we will arrive to the same answer. So we have 345,132 plus 452,867 is equal to n. Okay, so let's align the numbers according to the place values. 1s to 1s, 
tens to tens, hundreds to hundreds, thousands to thousands, ten thousands to ten thousands, and hundred thousands to hundred thousands. Then let us start adding from right to the left. So we start from the ones digits. Okay, so the digits in the ones place are two and we have seven. So two plus seven, that is equal to nine. Then let's proceed to the tens digits, which are three plus six, and that is also equal to nine. Then to the hundreds digits, 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. Then to the thousands digit, we have 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. Then proceed to the ten thousands digits, 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Then to the hundred thousands digit, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So the answer or the sum is 797,999. Let's have addition with regrouping. When we say with regrouping, it is when the sum of two digits in the place value column is greater than 9. So, we also have to remember the following steps. Okay, so we will add 28,471 plus 35,659. So, first you have to write the numbers in column according to the place values. First, we have to add... Of course, the ones digits. Okay? So in our solution, the digits in the ones place are 1 and 9. So let's add 9 and 1. That would have a sum of 10. Since 10 is a two digit number, we have to regroup 10 as 1, 10, and 0, 1s. So we are going to write 0 below the ones digits and then we will carry over one to the next digit in tens place okay now let's proceed to adding the tens digits okay so we have one plus seven plus five and that would make thirteen tens Okay, so since 13 is a two-digit number, we have to regroup 13 as 103 tens. So we will write 3 aligned to the tens digits and then we will carry over 1 to the next digit. Okay, now let's proceed to the hundreds digits. The hundreds digits are 1 plus 4 plus 6 and that will make 11. Since 11 is a two-digit number again, we have to regroup it as 1,000 and 100. So we will write 1 aligned to the hundreds digits and then we will carry over 1 to the next digit. Okay, now let's proceed to the thousands digits. So we have... 1 plus 8 plus 5 is equal to 14 thousands. Since 14 is a two-digit number, we will regroup it as 1 ten thousand and 4 thousands. So we will write 4 aligned to the thousands digits and we will carry over 1 to the next place. Let us now have the last digits in the highest place which are in ten thousands place so we have one plus two plus three that is equal to six, six ten thousands so we write six aligned to the ten thousands digits so twenty eight thousand four hundred seventy one plus thirty five thousand six hundred fifty nine is equal to sixty four thousand one hundred thirty let us have more examples about addition with regrouping. Let's have 134,789 plus 85,959. So we are going to follow the same rules. First, you have to align the numbers according to the place values and start adding from right to the left. 9 plus 9 is 18. Put 8 aligned to the 1's digit and then 1 as carry. 
1 plus 8 plus 5 is 14. Carry 1 to the next place. Then we add 1 plus 7 plus 9 is 17. Carry 1 to the next place. So we will have 1 plus 4 plus 5 is 10. Align 0 to the thousands digits and then carry 1 to the next place. Then we have 1 plus 3 plus 8 is equal to 12. So we put 2 or we write 2 aligned to the 10 thousands digits, then carry 1 to the next place. 1 plus 1 is 2. Right to align to the highest place. The answer is 220,748. Let's proceed to our next example. So we have 559,827 plus 712,048. Okay, so we have to align the numbers according to the place value. Add from right going to the left, 7 plus 8 is 15. Carry 1 to the next place. 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7. Then we have 8 plus 0 is 8. Then next we have 9 plus 2 is 11. Place 1 aligned to the thousands digits, then carry over. 1 to the next place then add 1 plus 5 plus 1 is 7 then we have 5 plus 7 is equal to 12 the answer is 1,271,875 of the last number 3,145,186 plus 794,970 is equual to n so same procedure or step Align the digits according to the place value, then add 6 plus 0 is 6, align it to the 1's digit, 8 plus 7 is 15, carry 1, then we have 1 plus 1 plus 9 is 11. 1 will be carried over to the next place, then add. 1 plus 5 plus 4 is 10. We will carry over 1 to the next place. Then we have to add 1 plus 4 plus 9 and that is 14. Okay, so we will carry over 1 to the next place. Then add 1 plus 1 plus 7 is 9. Okay, then we will just bring down the remaining digit.